Hello, I'm Casey Scrivens, Assistant Manager at Salvia Island Wildlife Area. Today I want to give you a couple things to think about as we head into the last part of the season. At this point, ducks are extremely wary. They get call shy, decoy shy, and flare at nearby shooting. By now they have seen every sort of wing flapper, every kind of decoy, and probably just about every kind of decoy setup. It's always a good idea to pay attention to how the birds behave. If they are flaring when you call or operate your wing spinner, then maybe you need to change up your strategy. Maybe call less or not at all, and the same goes with the wing spinners. I often get asked how big a decoy spread should be, and I think it's just up to everyone's personal preference and how much work they want to put, it, it put in. But generally, smaller is better in late season. However, if you find yourself in a rut, you might want to try changing up your spread. Maybe add some confidence decoys, or throw in a few geese or divers for variety. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is to not put enough effort into camouflaging their blind. We try to make it around periodically to touch up the blinds that we maintain on the wildlife area, but weather and use can really take a toll on the blind material. If you feel the need to add material to our blinds, please do so responsibly. Don't pull material from right around the blind. This just exposes the blind and then you end up with a box with nothing else around it. The river level this week is forecasted to maintain at or just below its current level of between 6 and 8 feet. Johnson unit continues to be our most consistent unit and our top producing unit on the east side. The harvest in the rest of the east side units has been spotty, with the exception of Aaron and McNary where hunters have been having better than average success. The west side units continue to struggle for the most part. Mud Lake had an exceptional shoot on the 30th and number 9 has been the hot spot. The season harvest is now just under 15,000 birds for an overall average of 2.2 birds per hunter. This week we should surpass last season's total harvest of 15,356 birds. A good number of canvasback are still present in Mud Hen which has led to a few issues. Canvasback are one of the largest diving ducks and are easily identified. Their wing is like some of the other diving ducks with a gray speculum. Drakes have a reddish head and neck and whitish body, but their most identifiable feature is the long black bill and sloped forehead. Interestingly, last season there were only 51 canvas back harvested, and this year's harvest is just over 300 so far, so quite a difference. A couple other things I want to pass along. The last day to hunt snow geese on the wildlife area is January 7th. Remember, you can only hunt snow geese on Oak Island, Reader Tract, the east side and west side units. And also pheasant season ended on December 31st. That is all that I have for this week. Until next time, happy hunting!